What's happening? Welcome back to the channel, Fishing with Norby. Super excited, we're going crappie fishing today and I'm showing you a new way to fish for these crappie. We are using a 200 Lou speed spin reel, seven and a half foot ACC crappie stick. I have 12 pound spin cast braid on here and then six pound P-line fluorocarbon. So what is new about this technique is that we are hiding our jig hook. We're using this hook right here. You've never seen me use this hook for crappie. I use it for bass some. This is the hover rig hook. It's by Core Tackle, the hover rig. Have you heard of hover rigging for bass? Well, have you heard of it for crappie? We're gonna try it out today. It's something new, I think. Um, chasing these crappie, we're gonna be going in 10 to 20 feet, trying to chase roaming crappie. I'm gonna put this sparkly shad on here. It has a chartreuse into it. It's called the Shank by ACC. It's the one we're using. And the color is Disco, disco Face. <laughs> Pretty sweet. It's a big jig. We're using a big jig. So that is the jig right there. And how you rig this thing to hide the hook, I'm going to show you. And then we're going to tie it on. So the hook is about that long. So you want to go in about an eighth of an inch into the jig and then we are going to stick it through the jig all the way out the back end just like this and then we're going to bury that head down in there just like that. Whoo! Look at that. And it's weedless. Another key factor. You need that thing to be straight just like that. We're going to tie it on and we're going to stick a split shot about two feet above this on the line. That way I can sink it down to these crappie quicker and cast them pretty quick. I'm excited. I, I normally use the split shot, but I do not normally use this hover rig jig hook. Super excited. Let's see if we can catch some massive big slabs today. Big white crappie, big black crappie. That's the goal. We're gonna bring them on, flay them up. Let's tie it on, get out there. We'll see you on the water. Before we start here, I'm gonna check the old deep dive at, see what it says. Lake is a foot and a quarter down, low. They're flowing 16,000 cubic feet a second. That's not too much current. Water clarity estimate, let's check it out. We are fishing mid lake today. The water clarity isn't too bad. It is clear to stain. All right, cool. And best areas to fish we're gonna be crappie fishing so we're really looking at the lake level if they're pulling water they're not pulling too much and it's windy today so these fish might be out roaming that's what we're hoping for all right let's get them all right it's gonna roam out here next to a little ditch let's see if we can find some crappie on the screen I'm excited a little windy we're gonna try and either coast with the wind or go straight against the wind. That way the boat doesn't get all turned sideways as we're chasing these fish. And since we're fishing open water, I'm gonna go ahead and cut off the weed guard just because I don't think we'll need it today. There we go. All right, we got a new Orange Crush scent and flake. All the good juice we're gonna throw on here. Try it out today. First time I'm using the new Orange Crush Thump Gel. You guys always ask me about this. They, they trail it and then they eat it when you have this stuff on there. You can see I got chartreuse juice I use a lot. I use 
crank and gel use the green magic and the the uh, minnow candy the pink one but it stays on there for a long time thumbgel.com code thump23 gets you a discount Let's see if we can find some fish I'm excited turn our gain up a little bit I'm just gonna look around out here see if there's any chasing bait that we can catch How you doing? <laughs> what the flip's he doing? There we go, we're hooked up guys. We got us the first one of the day here. We got us a good one. A hey, big one. Oh gosh, we got us a big one. Yeah, big old slab. That's what I'm talking about. This boat's idling me right behind me. Woo! <laughs> number one slab number one for the day going in the thump net that's what i'm talking about all right that's a big one guys look at that thing that's awesome we're just gonna leave the live well open Woo! out here in the wind and waves catching big old crappie that is awesome gosh that was a good one that was my first few minutes out here catching that big one just fish roaming out here we're just looking around whoo that's hard to beat right there There he is, another one. Man, he was chasing it. That's another big, oh, he got off. No, no, that was another big one, guys. Another big one. Mm, man, wow. <laughs> they follow it for like two or three seconds, and then they commit, because we got this stuff on there. It's so cool. Let's get another one. Ooh, smell that garlic on it too, a little bit. Orange Crush, I like it, I like it. Especially since we already got chartreuse on our bait. Well, one so far, let's move. Try another spot here. So windy. Just hoping I see some fish roaming here. Hmm. Just can't do it. It's just too windy. Just too windy. All right, super windy, and I forgot my mic. So you bear with me here, but we've caught a couple of Roman and lost one, but it's tough. So we're gonna go look under some bridges, some brush, switch it up, because it's just too windy out to chase them out here today. That makes it tough. So let's keep looking. Well, it's really, we're way back in the creek now. It's just blowing still. It's too windy to chase these roamers, I think. So I'm gonna try fishing a bridge real quick bridge is normally pretty good see if there's any here see if we can spot lock there without the GPS throwing us off we just have to come out here a different day and show you guys how to chase these roamers they do it on Grenada Lake it's just tougher to do here on Gunnersville so much grass these crappie get in See if we can get any of these on this bridge pilot. There we 
we go. First one under the bridge, and it is a small keeper. Little guy, little guy. We're not gonna keep him. The only guy be nine inches here. He is probably right around nine inches, eight, eight and three quarters, if I had to guess. Not quite a keeper. Let's see if we can get us another one. Man, it's blowing. Another one. There's another one. What we got? Another baby. These are babies. So small. Just babies. That's two in a row. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. I know there's big ones that hang out at this bridge. All the bridges on Gunnersville. They hang out at all of them. Next. Let's fish a little brush pile. Switch it up. Just babies on the bridge. We couldn't even get nothing going. So small. Maybe we'll catch them here. New spot. Let's get some of that chartreuse juice. Woo! Feel like there's a ton of bluegill here, but maybe, just maybe, there'll be some crappie. Got one, first drop, first drop on a brush pile. What do we have? Feels like a crappie. Yes, <laughs> another one, another one. It was cool catching those big ones, Roman. You can do that right now. You don't catch as many. But it's just way too windy today. There we go. Nice little guy. That's a small keeper. We need bigger ones than that. gosh I think we got a good one yes that's a better one <laughs> out here in the middle of nowhere on a little piece of wood yes that's what I'm talking about he's going in the box another nice one beautiful right in the thumb okay playing hard to get another one there's a bunch of these down there look at that it's a little bluegill baby little bluegill not what we're after another one come on be another big one he feels good he feels good bigger than that bluegill but not a big crappie small crappie another one <laughs> there's the brush pile right there ton of bluegill in it just a ton of bluegill We got 
move somewhere else. Too windy. Not enough crappie. Not enough crappie. All right, another brush pile. got one we got one yes it's a good one too it's a real good one my goodness that's a big one come on oh boat flip yes let's go <laughs> that might be the big one of the day right there that's a nice one thank you lord all right Woo. brush pile Next brush pile. We're getting like one off of every pile. Wow. There he is. Oh, biggin. Another biggin. Man, these biggins are smart. So smart. So hard to catch. We had to really jig that just right to get him to commit. All right. Biggin. See you, buddy. Actually, <laughs> we're going to keep him. Getting a few here in the thump net. Right. Fisher finicky. Having to jig it and everything else just to get them to eat. Jig it, get their attention, and then hope you get one fired up enough to chase it. Got him. They want that little guy today. Another one. Boom. That's a keeper. It's a nice one right there. All right. Thank you, Lord. Throw him in the thump net. Guys, you can get that thump net at thump gel or thumpnet.com too. Just getting back home from crappie fishing. We're about to flay those slabs up. Got a good little mess. Real nice little mess. We'll make a good lunch tomorrow. Gonna we'll flay those up. Got them in the thump net right there. Bunch of them. Nice little mess for Cody and I. Have more than we can eat. I'm gonna flay them up right here on the shelf. Let's feed Ned real quick. Let me flay one. We'll give him a piece. Okay, we're gonna feed him the rib cage. Copy rib cage here. He's gonna love that. Woo! You ready, Ned? Smoked it out of my hand. 
Didn't even let me drop it. Didn't even let me drop it. That's awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Tough day of crappie fishing, really. Tough day. Sometimes we all have tough days, but seek the Lord and He'll give you joy, He'll give you strength, He'll get you through your tough days. And out there crappie fishing today, we just moved around. We tried different things. We started out seeking the Roman, Roman, the roaming crappie, black crappie, white crappie out there roaming underneath bait balls. And it was tough. So we went fish bridge, we caught small ones. So that wasn't gonna work, so we left. We hit some brush, caught a couple, hit some stumps. Seemed like we caught one out of each stump. They had about 10 or 15 on each stump, but they would shut down once you caught one. Anyways, I'm gonna flay these fish up, subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you on the next video here at Fishing with Norby.